Hi everyone, thank you for watching my unboxing videos. I have another unboxing video for you. Uh, this time it's a Walmart purchase and um, this is a laptop. So I already know what this is inside this box. Um, but the type of laptop is gonna be a big surprise for you. So let's unbox this and see what we have in here. Okay, here we go. I don't really buy a lot of things from Walmart online, although the occasional purchase um walmart has become a pretty good competitor to amazon i would say as far as um shipping times and methods so i'm really excited so here we have um motile performance laptop from amazon this is the amazon brand laptop so um there, um, there aren't really a lot of things, a lot of electronics that Amazon has, um, their own personal brand, uh, but this Motile is one of them. They had another laptop a couple of years ago that we also purchased. Um, so that's why we decided to give this one a try. So uh, this is their 14 inch, very tiny, very lightweight laptop. This is the cheaper version of the laptop, first of all. There's another version that's a little bit better. It's a little more expensive. This, right now, you can find and buy today at the price of $199, $199. So, um, pretty cheap, um, very, very good laptop for the price. Let's open it and see what we have. This is the silver color over here. There are. Um, two more colors, a black one and I believe a rose gold. So let's open this box and see what we have in here. I'm going to just um, show you here in the back what we're going to look at right now. So the display is by THX, 14 inch screen, resolution um, 1920 by 1080, design clamshell, the audio is THX facial audio technology processor is the Ryzen 3. Um, there have been a lot of videos, a lot of talk about the Ryzen 3 versus Ryzen 4. So um, this is a little bit less of a processor than the other model, but still is pretty good. Um, there's good graphics, v Vega 3. Um, there's a four gigabyte RAM memory, there is a 720 HD frontal camera, there are a bunch of slots, uh, Bluetooth, the battery is nice, the storage overall is 128 gigabytes, and it comes with the Windows, Windows 10 um, home operating system. So here we go, another view of this box. And um, I'm gonna open this and show you what we are gonna play with a little bit. So, this, by the way, this is the model um, M141. Uh, I believe the other one is M142, if I'm not mistaken. It's a little nicer, it's a little more expensive, but honestly, I'm not looking for expenses. I'm looking for the cheapest, nicest laptop out there, so. Uh, that's why we have this one. Um, if you follow my <laughs> if you follow my channel um, and subscribe to my videos, you know that I'm kind of looking for the best deal, uh, not any of the super fancy, expensive items, but rather something that is budget friendly and um, just about anybody can um, can manage to buy. So there's a little warranty card here. There's a quick start guide of how to start this laptop. What we have in here is on the side. Um, and let me tell you this, this is not the first laptop that I've opened um, by Motile. This is actually our second laptop, so um, I know where everything is. This is your standard uh, power cable, AC adapter, and Let's look at this little laptop over here. So, as far as I know, the other more expensive version of this laptop has aluminum um, 
aluminum outside um, top and bottom. This one is plastic, although it looks pretty cool. And here we go. This is our little tiny laptop. It's so lightweight that when I was picking up the box that it came in, I almost thought that maybe Walmart forgot to put the computer in there. Um, just on the outside looking at it, it looks very sleek, very modern. It has the Motile logo or the wording over here. Um, very minimalistic, which I like a lot about this laptop. And on the bottom, you have those two rubber lines. So it makes sure that you make sure that your laptop doesn't slide. And then you have your ventilation system here, which is kind of nice and hidden. And this is the best way to do this for a laptop that is so thin. You have your lock and um, ethernet cable. There are two ports for USB. You have your speaker port. Then you have a micro SD, um, another USB port and um, you have a USB-C and an HDMI and your power cord over here. So uh, very nice, very lightweight. And once I open this, I'm gonna show you what I like about this laptop a lot. Um, and that is the screen. I really like the screen because it almost takes up the whole space, the whole monitor space. So that's why I like this so much and here we go. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna show you the nice keyboard THX, um, a little introduction card, and this is what we have over here. This is supposed to be very nice. The keyboard is supposed to light up and I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. So um, this is basically the laptop itself. I'm gonna turn it on and see what we get here but what i'm going to do next is i'm going to switch to um the other laptop that we got a couple of days ago that's already um all preset and registered and everything is installed and i'm gonna i'm hoping that has enough battery if not okay so i press the button and you see how quickly it loads up um once you turn it on it's incredibly fast and um, I really like that about uh, this laptop. It loads as fast as my um, Mac, my MacBook Air, and I'm gonna compare it basically to my MacBook Air because they're about the same size and about the same features. So um, I'm gonna show you what we're working with right now. Um, let me go grab my other laptop and I'll show you my comparison between the two while we wait for this to load up and show us our hey there, registration I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. okay I'm, I'm gonna show you here, touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do I'm gonna show Use you my or the keyboard along the way and if you'd like me to stay quiet just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen Okay. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the windows. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off so it's not really disrupting um, the rest of this video while this loads up. And um, I'm going to show you a comparison between my MacBook Air and our Motile laptop that we have already set up and registered and it's ready to go. So first, let me show you how really, really close they are size-wise. Um, with being the case that my MacBook Air is a little bit bigger and definitely heavier than the Motile. And, um, but overall, thinness, I would say that they're about the same. Um, the other thing is, I'm pretty sure that my MacBook Air has that aluminum cover. Um, it's very sturdy and um, very, I would say, <laughs> indestructible. So I have both of them um, probably set up 
and I can show you how fast they load. So now my MacBook Air, it had, um, I just had turned it on, but here we go. I'm gonna turn on this Motile and I'll let you see how quickly it loads up. Um, same as my MacBook Air. So um, honestly, screens, they are about the same. Um, with that being that my MacBook Air has a little wider or a lot wider of an area around it that um, I don't know it's probably nicer if you touch it a lot um, but other than that it just looks a little old school this looks a lot more modern keyboard is about the same in size um, the mouse pad is about the same in size maybe this one the motile one is a little bit larger a little bit nicer um, the other thing that I kind of like about the motile is um, the keyboard is, is pretty nice and it lights up so um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this maybe I have to turn down the light a little bit over here so that you can see this but I'm gonna put my MacBook Air to the side and I will show you a little bit more of the features of this Motile laptop and um, here we go if, if I do this I've locked this pad with double tap and I'm pretty sure that if I do function and then this, my keyboard is supposed to turn on, but since I have a lot of light over here, I don't know if you can see this a lot. I might have to turn down the, the lighting a little bit so that you can see this. Okay guys, so I have turned down the light a little bit and um, you can't really tell because I have this um, over the top light over here um, on my camera, but I'm gonna turn this off right now and I'm hoping that you can see the keyboard light up. So here. I'm gonna do function and there's a little bit of the light up keyboard over here. I'm gonna turn this off completely so we can see it again. Here we go. Um, it is pretty nice if you're working in the dark, although um, I'm pretty sure that I have set it up to the lowest or to the highest light and it's still not as bright as I want it to be. Maybe if I'm working in the dark, I don't want it super bright, um, but I just want it to stand out a little bit more. And it seems like maybe here on the outer edges, it does stand out, but not like in the middle. The mid middle seems like it's not as light as it could be. So I'm gonna turn on the light again and we can look at a couple more things here with this laptop. So a couple of the things that um, that I like about this is that it also charges with a USB-C um, cable, but apparently you can't charge it in your car, so there is not uh, a car charging option through the USB-C, which is a little... Um, little uncomfortable when you're on the road you really want to charge it and you can't in your car other than that I love that there's a lot more ports I believe that there are more ports and especially an HDMI cable that's the one thing that um, I'm sorry HDMI port that's the one thing that the um, Apple is missing so um, I really like that it was really easy to set up probably takes about 20 minutes in total by the time you um, you set your region and um, everything else for your laptop, um, you're good to go and start using it. For $199, this is an amazing laptop. The operating system is pretty cool and um, it works really, really fast. So um, I would absolutely recommend this for a super cheap alternative to um, one of the big brands. Um, like Apple or Windows 
or HP. So um, if you're interested in this, I'll post a link to where you can get this um, on the Walmart website or um, maybe there's a couple of other places that you can get this as well. But try to get this as soon as possible. $199 right now. They dropped the price. Um, that's what Walmart does with its own brands. They do that. They do this a lot um, with their laptops. So it's definitely worth buying this. Again, 14 inch screen um, and you can't beat the price. Thank you for watching my unboxing videos.